those of you who heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we of course continued to get more pieces of armor and explore the sky, but now we're back on the ground as I wanna pick up the next armor set that should be the final one in this store over, not here, but <laughs> right next door, right over this way. And then I wanted to of course explore around a little bit. There was a couple of side quests I wanted to do, but oh, it looks like uh, Nana is actually out here in front of the store now. Well, well, look who's here. Isn't it a bit early, hmm? If you're planning to travel enchanted, it should be your first stop. The stealth attire would suit you, I think. Well, I've already purchased that one. But we're gonna be checking out the, the lot less stealthy option right over here. This is the Radiant Armor. And we're starting with the Radiant Mask here for 800 rupees. Luckily, I can afford that. I might just sell some stuff to afford the full set, but for right now, I'll buy this one. We get the Radiant Mask with three defense, a mask painted with dye made from crushed luminous stones. Its bone-like patterns give Elf a lurid, mysterious glow in the dark. Thanks, that'll look great on you, really. And then, whoa, does this one have like a wrestling belt on it? That's so cool. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a professional wrestler outfit. I like it. We get the Radiant Shirt for 800 rupees. All right, so the Radiant shirt for three armor. Uh, the paint on this shirt is made from crushed luminous stones. It causes the shirt to show a glowing bone-like pattern in the dark. All right, so we have one more here, which, oh, I can't quite afford. So let's see if I can't sell you a couple of things. Um, I wanna sell. Um, I'm just gonna sell, I guess, what is something we have a lot of? The Amber. So I'll go with, I needed like a good, 300, that should be good. Yep. <laughs> that should be enough to get me what I want here, I think. Ah. So let's go find out that's the case. I do not ah. need anything else. So go ahead and buy the Radiant Tights, our last piece of this armor set, and the last thing we have here in, in Enchanted. Radiant Tights, three armor. The paint on these tights is made from crushed luminous stones. It causes the tights to show a glowing bone-like pattern in the dark. Very cool, so as you can see, it's not quite dark yet, so we don't get the full effect of it, but it is still a very cool costume set with the wrestling belt and everything, I love it. Thanks, you've made a great purchase, really. And it looks like this is back. I don't need it, because obviously we already got it, but that's cool to know that we bought, got both of the costume sets here from um, Enchanted. And with that being done, there's still a lot more to do throughout Hyrule. One of the things I wanted to focus on firstly though is getting some more side quests done. We have a ton of side quests that we need to figure out as you can see here. Not only that, but I don't know if this is all of them. There are sometimes ones we just sort of discover as we're out and about. So if I can make a dent in this in any way today, I think that'd be really good. And I think we should start with the um, wanted Quest. So we have Wanted Stone Talus, Wanted Mulduga, and Wanted Hinox. And each of these were they were given to us by Grelins at the emergency shelter. Um, we take on the associated monster um, in the area that it says. So first we'll start with Wanted Stone Talus, somewhere in Northeast Akala, way up here. So we'll just head over there, see if we can't find that Stone Talus, because we haven't been specifically in that area anyways. So it might be a fun opportunity to explore around a little bit either way. All right, so here we are. First things first is to run over here, and it's getting darker, so hopefully we'll start glowing soon, but let's see there's a little bit of water around here. What we're mostly focused on is in this direction. Actually, if it's raining, maybe it's worth it just to wait at this fire for a bit? What is, wait, what is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember, that's where the, the horse god is. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. We'll wait until morning just to see if the weather goes away, because it just makes it easier to travel. There hasn't been too much around this area that I've super in-depth explored, but I don't know too much more of like what there is to find. Uh, but we will continue off there. I mean, I did a decent job at poking around some of these spots. This is the rock woods over here and whatever this lake is. I don't think we've been to that lake, so maybe I'll poke around with that soon enough. But first things first is that I wanna get up here and see if there's a stone talus to fight. I guess it's morning now, so this armor set might not help me too much. I see you up here. Who do you think you're fooling? Okay, you're jumping off though, aren't you? Um, no, you just jumped in place. Okay, I'm coming up. Ow, rude. You know what, fine. You're coming down. <laughs> where'd you go, where'd you go? And slice, gotcha. See, that wasn't so bad. Grab some of that stuff and move over here where there is supposedly, I think I see it, a stone talus in the water. Okay, make sure, yep, I have a picture of this one. 
Not too surprising. We want to get on top of it for sure. So that, there we go, wakey wakey. I can maybe switch to a weapon that should be able to do good damage to the top of it. Oh my, whoa, that was cool. Oh, it's over there. Okay, not the most useful spot, to be honest with you, but oh, yeah, it's, it's very awkward spot, actually. I'll get you to help, maybe. Um, I guess that won't help. Yeah, never mind. Okay, hold on. Ah, oh, come on, I pressed it twice. You're kidding me. Activate this again. Run over here. Got it. Okay, now that you're knocked over here in a second, I just need to hit it one more time. Ah. Uh, I'm on top of it right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Lake, please. There we go. Jump and swing. I know you're gonna try to get me again, but I'm not gonna let you. Oh, I'm just trying to jump and swing. There it is. A little tricky just with that placement, but we find a way through. And we, jump. and we get Wanted Stone Talus updated. Graylands and the Monster Control crew in Lookout Landing told you about the Stone Talus. You defeated, you defeated it in North Akala Foothill. So that's amazing. We get a lot of good um, little different kinds of rocks here. And of course we do have another one of these, but I don't know what to combine it with. I guess I could just use it with that. Get 13 extra damage, it's not so bad. All right, so that was cool. Out of pure curiosity, I sort of do want to I haven't been down in this quarry either, actually. Yeah, that's from over there. So let me try some of that stuff. That would be, I'll make a green marker for now. In this direction. I'm just really curious about it. There's gotta be a cave or something. It's a quarry after all. If we can find a shrine or two along the way, that'd make all the difference, really. I do remember being down there, because down in that thing, there is a... Lionel, so that's good to know. So this is the lake I was looking at before, and whoa, what is that glow? Uh, it's a thing, I forget what it's called. Oh, and there's also a croc seat up here. There's like a guardian or whatever, not a guardian, but let's go ahead and boom. No, come on, <laughs> there you go, gotcha. I did find you. That'll be six Korok seeds. Not finding those at an incredible pace, but it's something. So yeah, what's up with you down here? Hi, I'm not tooling. Um, yeah, we can pray at the statue. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. Hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the mother goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to that land and bring tidings to me of the mother goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. Goddess Statue of Power. The Goddess Statue of the Spring of Power is troubled by her inability to sense the Mother Goddess Statue in the vast canyon. She asks you to check out on the statue and return with your findings. See, these are why I'm happy to um, sort of figure all that out because are they all about in the vast canyon? All three of these are asking about the wisdom, power, and courage like the Triforce. Yeah, okay, that's really cool. So this is why it's worth it to explore around because we might find more side quests as we're looking around. Is this a cave or is this sort of just like a little passageway? I think it might be more of a passageway. But I found one way to it. It looks like I could have found a more sneaky way over here. But I think this leads to the quarry. We're gonna find out. But that was a spring of power. Uh, do I just walk through? Oh, I thought I had to burn that down like it was vines. Yeah, now we're in the quarry. I'll fly up a little bit, just so that we can take a look around. I'm doubtful there's gonna be a ton down here I need, but you never know. Might as well poke around a little bit. I don't think there'll be a Koroxy in this one. Yeah, But maybe up here, I can get, get a better vantage point. I'm not seeing too much. Really not seeing too much, so. It's not a cave over there. What was that noise? Oh no, oh no, not you guys again. Um, I might be able to handle you though. Let's just speed up who we can. I might wanna go for at least one bonfire, or actually, what happens if I use a sundial here? Can I do that? Would that really do anything? I have to find them first. Uh, I have a lot of stuff here. If I did this, 
Yeah, it doesn't really do too much. Okay. Bomb flowers seem to be way better here. So if I go by most used. This line will boost badly damaged, so I gotta be careful. But I can fly up again. I might as well fight this thing off because it can drop decent loot. I destroyed that bow. I got plenty more where it came from though, luckily. Gotcha. That should be good enough. So now we got the the Phantom Gown and popping up somewhere. All right, if we're fighting you, I mean, I caught my armor glowing, which is cool, but it won't glow for much longer if I if I die. So <laughs> let's go ahead and switch to this and then back over to the Master Sword. And now we can fight you. Ooh, especially, ooh, okay, that was beautiful. Let's get that Flurry Rush and really damage you down. Excellent. I still took some damage here, unfortunately, but I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to jump to the side. Uh, okay, good enough. I should be able to get a couple slices in. There you go, and we get the Gloom Club for it. That is fantastic. You gonna drop anything else? We get the Demon's King bow. We got a couple of dark clumps. Those are always good to see. All right. I can definitely drop something for this, right? I don't need the magic rod. As cool of a weapon as it is, I just don't need it. So I'm glad that we got another one of those guys knocked out, even if it doesn't do a ton for me. Getting the club is pretty useful. It's one of the more damaging items in the game. It just also hurts me. So, I don't see too much else going on in this area. I think we're good to bounce, which is cool. So we already made progress with way up here, the stone talus. I'll go back to look at landing later. We might as well just try to continue moving on with this. We got the Molduga next, which is, of course, way down here. So let's try to figure this one out now and see if we can't defeat the Molduga where it says that it is. All right, we made our way over to the uh, Gerudo Canyon and right over here. I already see you swimming around in the sand. Let's go ahead and switch uh, our suit before Link passes out <laughs> and let's get to it right over here. This might be a little bit crazy I don't have the most amount of experience fighting these things, but I'm willing to try. Okay, it's noticed me, it's noticed me. I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Okay, that did not work out very well at all. Uh-oh, <laughs> let's eat some food. Um, I might just go ahead, boom, get that thing. And then here's my chance to do something productive while you're flying around in the air like that. If I can just do that, maybe hit you again. That might be good. Okay, you're gonna flop on the ground just a little bit, but if I could just get over here really fast. There we go, everybody can beat up on you. And we can get you at least halfway down. That's really good, that's really, really good. Don't let up now, Master Sword is low on energy, no! Wait, wait, here's my chance, come on. I'm not quite getting the headshot I wanted, but one more shot. We'll do the trick. We defeat the Molduga in basically record time. That was fantastic. Awesome. Okay, don't want to land on me. I did lose a lot of health there at the end, though. Okay, so wanted Molduga, Grillins and the Monster Control crew at Lookout Landing. Told you about the Sand Swing Molduga. You defeated it in the East Barrens, um, located in the Gerudo Desert. Cool. So I am going to pick up all this stuff then and open up this chest, boom. What do we get inside? A Royal Claymore. Not a bad weapon to pick up. I will have to drop something for it though, and I think out of everything, it's sort of hard to decide. I feel like the stuff I have right now is actually comparatively better. So I'll leave it. Maybe somebody else will find it, make good use of it. In the meantime now, I wanna back out of there, go to our adventure log and do the wanted Hinox, which is way back over on the other side of Hyrule again, right over this way, which is great because we need Hinox guts for some other upgrades we're looking for. So this might be a good sort of two things at once kind of situation. So we're gliding straight over. Hopefully I'll be able to get this one done pretty quickly, but we'll have to wait and see. I think we've encountered this Hinox before. And if it's just a red one, we'll be in the clear. But if it's any more powerful than that, we might still struggle a little bit, but I'm up to the task regardless. Hmm. I think it's right down. Aha, it's a red one. Okay, we should be fine with taking this thing out. Should only take us a moment. 
All right, so let's get over here and good morning. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that was fast. You got up really fast. And there goes my master sword running out of energy. That's okay, because I have stuff like the Captain Four Blade, which I can just swing this around a couple of times. And Timber, you're falling. Awesome, that was really fast, to be honest with you. So, really good stuff. Definitely wanna grab the Royal Bow. Um, and look at that, Wanted Hinox updated. So, tons of stuff to grab. Let's make sure we get that bow. There's gotta be something a little bit weaker than the 38 damage Royal Bow I have here. M maybe not, though. We've been getting a lot of these Construct Bows, which, or Zonite Bows, which really change things up. Really, the only thing I could drop here is a Savage Lionel Bow, but that's technically still more damage. So, never mind. Won't be taking it. That's still pretty crazy to me, but we could always come back here. It did drop a Hinox Guts though, right? We do this by type and go all the way back down to where all the monster parts are. Uh, Maybe. How many am I up to? I mean, I need a, like a dozen more regardless. So worrying about it right now might not be worth it. So yeah, with those three done, we should be able to cash them all in back over here. So that was pretty convenient. We were able to get three quests out of the way, at least we will in a moment, if we run over here. So yeah, the side quests, there's a lot of them, but some of them are really fast work. I don't know what we'll get as a reward, but Graylin's right here. Monsters, I wonder. Oh. Hello, and thank you for your hard work, Link. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pura asked that we suspend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. So we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are out hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large monster sightings. They've been sharing updates with us. Uh, I hunted something. <gasps> you did? Which one did you get? Stone Talus. Let me check something. One moment. So I see, your battery is low. The latest report confirms the Stone Talus was taken out. Oh. To defeat such a formidable monster, well, that's the stuff legends are made of, and to do it so single-handedly. I'd expect nothing less from a swordsman of your, your renown. It's not much, but I've got a reward for your valor. Please, take it. All right, we get a silver rupee, not bad. I'll take that prize. Here's hoping we can always count on your expert skill. All right, so Wanted Stone Talus complete. We'll take a quick look at that one then. Um, oh. Did you defeat any other large beasts? I did, I defeated a Hinox. Oh. Let me check something. One moment. Oh. All right, so so I see. The latest report confirms the Hinox has been defeated. That's good. Oh. To defeat such an unyielding beast, well, that's the stuff legends are made of, and to do so single-handedly. I just expect nothing less from a swordsman of your renown. So about the same stuff here. We got a reward for our valor, 100 more rupees. Awesome. Uh. And I guess if that's the case, we get wanted a high nox, as well as we'll cash in the third one right now too. Uh. Yep, the mold you got. So let me check something one moment. Very cool. So I'm glad we got these three done. Looks like he's gonna say the same exact thing for this one. Uh. I don't know if he'll give me more things to fight. It's not much, but huge reward for your valor. Thank you. So 300 rupees out of all this, and of course all the stuff that the monsters dropped is pretty good rewards. <gasps> you defeated all of the beasts we had received reports of? I'm stunned. I'm in complete and utter all of you. Legendary Swordsman Link, please take this on behalf of the Monster Control Crew. Whoa, the gold rupee. So we get 500 rupees in total, actually. Ah. If you find it in you, Link, maybe you can defeat them, too. Them? There are new monsters! All right, well, before we get into that, let's go ahead and read, you know, the updated text for these. Wanted Stone Talus. You reported your victory over the Stone Talus at North Akala Foothill to Graylands at Lookout Landing. And then the same thing for the other two. So, nothing too crazy there. Let's, uh, talk to you again. Oh. Link, thank you so much for hunting down those three beasts. I was wondering if I might trouble for your help yet again. Just recently, we received troubling accounts about monsters we've never heard of before. We're hard at work gathering intel we can, whatever or what intel we can regarding these new fearsome beasts. The Sky Giant? Mm. I've received a puzzling report from squad members surveying the West Sky Archipelago in Hebra. The report says that a creature seemingly made of rock is moving through the clouds. 
whatever it is, if it falls to the surface, damage to the surrounding area would be severe. It needs to be taken out. Unknown sky giant, whoa. Could that be a flux construct? Want to know about any of the others? Indeed, I've got some info I can share. Which unusual creature would you like to know about? The three-headed monster, oh no. <laughs> A traveler shared information about an unusual monster who was sighted at the bridge of Hylia and Farron. While crossing the bridge, the three-headed monster lunged at him. They were so scared, they dropped their bags and ran. For the safety of travelers, I want it hunted down, but I'm not sure how to get near it. Uh, this is a tricky one. So, unknown three-headed monster. Want to know about any of the others? Of course. There's one more, the huge silhouette. The monster control members have reported sightings on a survey in the depths. Do you have a map handy? I do. Oh. A creature of unknown origins was found in the chasm to the south of Hyrule Field. It looked to be moving southeast. We heard it's around here. Wow, okay. Oh. They spotted something massive in the depths. When they tried to approach it, it nearly swallowed them whole. I want to sort out what it is and hunt it down, but we we are at a serious disadvantage fighting in the depths. Actually, I know about that one, so you've already defeated it? I can't believe it. No, I can. I really, it's just like you, Link, to be off on the next conquest before you've even begun to hear about it. It's not much, but please take this. So at least we got one of these done inadvertently. Here's to hoping we can always count on you. So, unknown huge silhouette complete. That must have been a frox. So it just started and it's already done. <laughs> okay. Want to know more about the others? Oh. Indeed, I've got some info I can share. So, I mean, we know about those two. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to get those done today, but um, I think we're good. Oh. I'm told that your skill in swordplay is unmatched. If you ever stumble upon into one of our squads, yep, I've already helped them all out in the past. So, unknown huge silhouette. You reported your victory over the silhouetted monster of the depths called the Frox to the to Greylands at Lookout Landing. So these other two, way back up here, might be a bit of a nightmare. The unknown sky giant, um, I don't know this one, but maybe I could try it. <laughs> way up here, um, yeah, we haven't been over here. Sure, <laughs> let's go for it. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite ready for it, but I'm willing to give it a try. So what's the best way to get over there is the big question. Um, the closest Skyview Tower is right over here. So I'll give this a try. We'll see if we can't defeat whatever this monster is. Okay, so we're trying to get over in that direction. You can already see what might be the Sky Island we're trying to get to over there. Or maybe it's this one. I mean, you can see that giant platform and everything. I'm really curious. And there's also a shrine around here too. Okay. Maybe some stuff worth exploring after all. Yeah, it's just you. If that's the case, that really isn't too much of a sweat. Up there though, that must be the shrine that it's going off about. So maybe I could return over there in a moment? That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, for right now, I just want to go and fight you because you were clearly the monster, but what level of flux construct are you, is the question. Just a level one. Okay, this is easy. Especially since the third one, I'm pretty sure, is a Gliok. These are pretty easy, comparatively. Oh, I see it on, on your heel there. All right, now it's not. Um, You know, if you're over here, oh, it's still on your heel. There you go. Gonna do that, and then just go crazy with the Captain Four Blade as much as I can. Here, really start spinning. And then, ooh, almost got it, almost got it. Come on, one more shot. Should do the trick, there it is, that was so easy. We're pretty powerful for that, so. Unknown Sky Giant updated, grounds at the Monster Control Crew, yada, yada, yada. You defeated it on the West Hebra Sky Capelago in Hebra. I'll grab whatever I can. And then, once again, I don't think I really have a weapon to combine this with that I'd really want to at the moment. Just doesn't add too much to it. So I'll leave it, and then we'll head over here. I'll kick this thing open, and inside, I'll get another old map. Amazing, but there's a question. The question is, do I have this one? It looks like I already have the treasure shown in this old map. 
But hey, it's one less thing we have to worry about in that way. So that was fantastic. I think we'll save the Gleox for like its own episode. I wanna really do a Gleox episode because there's so many of them that take on anyways that just taking on one of them now feels a little silly. So yeah, lots left to do in that way. But for right now, I will go back to um, Graylands and we'll cash in that one quest. All right, Graylands, oh. got more stuff for you. Hello and thank you for your hard work, Link. Um, so. We've already heard all of this. Uh, I hunted something. <gasps> Say what now? You hunted an unknown monster? The Sky Giant. So I see. Looking at the latest report, it does say the unusual giant in the clouds was taken down. It's referred to as a flux construct, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. Well, defeating such a fearsome foe, I'd expect nothing less from the swordsman. Yep, 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 we know, sorry. We've already heard this one three times, so there we go. 100 rupees for us, and the unknown sky giant complete. Awesome. So, I will save the Gliok fighting for some other time. I think sometime very soon, but I definitely wanna get that done. Um, For now, I figured we would take a look at just what else is you know there to do for side quests, especially if there's some smaller ones we might be able to chip through. I know the pictures for the stables is definitely something I wanna work on, but I figure maybe having an episode full of just photography would be fun. We're already pretty far into today's episode. So let's try spotting spot. Lester, who manages the stable at Lookout Landing, told you his beige dappled horse spot right away. Spot is supposedly timid though, so he may still be close by. And before we do that, I just wanna double check to see if, uh, this had anything more to say? You reported your victory over the Flux Construct on the West Heber Sky, Archipelago, to Greylands at Lookout Landing. So it didn't really. Awesome. Okay, so when it comes to spawning Spot, I think we need to talk to you over here. Is that the case? Oh, Spot, where did you get off to? Well, look who it is. Overheard my worrying, did you? Spot's my horse. Truth be told, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. Mm. I gotta plug in my controller. He's beautiful, just one look at his silky gentle beige coat, and you know it was him. So gentle beige. Of course, you'd recognize his unique gray dr dappling too. That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. Mm. A horse like him, I bet he bet you somewhere with a nice view, taking in the sights. Just wish I didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Ah, sorry for prattling on there. We wouldn't have been able to build such a handsome mini stable without you and Carson. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'll work hard to make sure it was worth the wait. Um, so we don't need anything else. We'll try to find Spot. So a beige horse with gray spots that likes to be higher up with good views. So can't be too far, but like, you know, what is too far for a game this big? I'm not quite sure. We'll try to poke around a little bit and See if we can't find this horse anywhere. Cause I don't think it would be just this close, would it? I'm, maybe. You look like a light beige horse with grayish spots, is this spot? Here, let's go ahead and change to something maybe a little bit more uh, stealthy so they don't hear us walking up on ya. You might be the horse we're looking for. Okay guys, you're, not. Here we go. I'm so sorry. Okay, soothe, soothe. It's okay. There we go. This was a great view for sure. So you're all soothed. Is this spot? I sure hope so. If not, the, the search will continue. Wait, wait, wait. Over here, over here. All right, over here. Hey, what Ron luck? I think it is. Oh, spot, where did you get off to? Spot, it's really you. Are you hurt? Hungry? Oh, Spot, you had me worried sick. What if you were attacked by monsters out there? Well, it looks like I'm in your debt yet again. Thank you so much for bringing my Spot back to me. It's not much, but here's a little reward for reuniting me with my best friend. Whoa, we get a purple rupee. That's 50 rupees for us, almost over a thousand again. Running around under that big blue sky, mane blowing in the wind, munching on grass with the rest of his herd. I really can't blame Spot for wanting to live like a wild horse again. Hmm. I'm sorry, I know you went through all that trouble to bring him back to me. He deserves a freer life than I can give him. It's time for me to let him go. <laughs> or maybe I should give him to a fine young horseman like yourself. As long as he's happy, I'll be happy. Oh, that reminds me, please take this. I'll get a swift carrot, nice. Uh -huh. uh, there is a swift carrot. 
It's the signature crop of Kakarika Village in Nikluda, down to the southeast of here. Hylian or horse, you take a bite of one of those and you'll find a little more pep in your step. Spot and I used to split swift carrots all the time back in the day. It would make me happy if you split that with your favorite horse too. All right, so there we go, spotting spot complete. You brought the beige dappled spot to Lester. The swift carrot he gave you in return is a specialty crop of Kakariko Village, located in Nikluda to the southeast. So now that we have that quest done, there's still plenty more for us to focus on. And I figure one of the things I definitely wanna to jump to straight away is just whatever is on the list that isn't a picture thing. So the capture tent is the next one. The tent that sisters Nat and Megan set up in a cave has been, been overrun with monsters. To learn more about what that their mysterious that is, defeat the monsters and take back the tent. All right, so there's a cave somewhere in there? Yeah, I guess so. So we'll try to find that cave wherever it is. I don't think this is supposed to mark out the cave. I mean, maybe it is. Uh, I thought that would maybe mark out where we found them, but we'll head over to the Orochium Shrine. I know that there's a Gliok way up there, so I gotta be careful of that, but we should be okay and be able to just head into that cave and check it out for ourselves. Oh, goodbye, Spot. <laughs> nice meeting you. Okay, so I think that it shouldn't be too far off, just off in this direction. We should be able to find a cave. If I follow this quest marker, I think we'll be okay. I'm a little beat up at the moment, so I do wanna be careful. I do see you over there, but I'm just gonna leave you. There's that Gliok. I was gonna keep running if I can. Just off in this direction. Okay, now that the snow is not as deep yet, we run a little bit faster in those sections. But, oh, I think I do see the cave, which is exciting because if I haven't found this cave, that also means that there's a bubble gem in there waiting for me. Which I'm pretty sure I haven't found this cave. But it looks like we have some kind of merchant here too. Uh, so I'll go and chat with you. Purr, so cold. Hello, fellow wanderer. Up until recently, this whole area was being pelted by snow. Now the blizzard's over, I can sell my products to all the nice folks here. It's not, not chilly though. You'll still want to prepare for cold temperatures. It's fate, no doubt about it. You're going to buy something. Let's see what you have. Uh, anything I really need? Not really, so I think I'll leave you be for now. Let's see. Never mind. Oh. Drop by any time here. Will do. So here's the cave, ready and waiting for us. It definitely isn't on my map, so that'll definitely be another thing accomplished, which is always good. I see some food we can grab over here. I probably want to go ahead and eat up some food. Um, do we have any food that would boost our damage in cool temperatures? Because that would be the most opportune time to use it. I mean, we have cold resistance, but not. Oh, here we go. Biting simmered fruit gives me cold weather attack. Not a ton of it, but a little bit. Um, and then I guess I'll just do that. Cool. I definitely need to eat some more food or make some more food as we head into Mount Drenna Foothill Cave. If I can, I would like to also break some of this stuff open. Let me use this one. Got it. Whoa, hey guys. There's that, that tent they were talking about. Oh no, I missed. Okay. These guys should be pretty easy to take out, but you, whoa, that was a good dodge. There we go. That was the more difficult, complicated one. So now that we clear all that out, the capture tent has been updated. You eliminated the monsters from Nat and Megan's tent at Mount Drina Foothill Cave in Northeast he Eastern Hebra. Report to Nat and Megan at Snowfield Stable to let them know you defeated the monsters. I will in just a moment. I wanted to at least explore around. Um, it looks like there's not too much else in here. Definitely wanna grab all of that. And here's your tent. I definitely wanna just try to find wherever this frog could be, probably up there. All right, so I'll grab some bright cap and we'll get to climbing. Just like that and ooh, yep, definitely something in here for us. I'll bust through that and hey, look what I found right over there, we get ourselves a frog. So, definitely gonna grab that in a moment. Might as well indulge in some bright bloom seeds in the meantime and get what might be our 19th? Yep, our 19th bubble gem. We're really starting to get there, very exciting. And right above us should be the uh, the fairy that upgrades our gear, so if I needed to hop over to that, I could. But instead, what I think I should do for right now is just get back over here and talk to the two travelers at the stable. All right, we've made it back to the stable over here. I think that they are just on the other side of this little thing. Here we go. 
I wonder if they're okay. Oh shit, that's not them. Uh, it's you two. Well, let me go ahead and grab all this stuff to you. Hi. Aww. I'm sorry we finally bumped into each other again here, but really, it's no time to talk about that. We have to chase the monsters away from our tent somehow. Well, I got it covered for you. Uh -huh. huh? You defeated them? Uh -huh. There aren't any more monsters? Uh -huh. Oh, amazing, so amazing, and strong. What a relief. Most of what we packed for our journey is in that tent. Now we can continue to search for that. Oh. We owe you, so here you go. We got the spicy steamed mushrooms, thank you so much. <laughs> We're going to bring you into our secret quest to find that, as we promised. We're on the hunt for a fabled place, a haven of mushrooms. We discovered a note in a field guide to mushrooms that hinted of something spectacular. It said, vapors drift off Sternita Basin near a pond in Hebra. At the source of the steam lies a bright mushroom haven. Uh... At the time, we didn't think much of it. Just a strange little note someone left in the margins. Then the upheaval happened and caves opened up and we thought maybe, just maybe, we could find a haven of our own. Who knows, maybe it was a joke some prankster scribbled in there, but if there is a mushroom haven, we have to find it. Uh -huh. This is between us, you understand, me, my sister, and now you. Mm. If the message we saw in that field guide was accurate, then the haven must be here in Hebra. We just have to find the pond and follow the drifting stream to its source. So we better get going. Thanks buddy for getting your tent back. So I guess we're maybe ending and then starting another quest here? The capture tent complete, and then we have another one, which is, uh, as it'll show in just a moment, who finds the haven? So first off, who finds the haven? I might continue with this one. Um, Nat and Megan read the following clue in a field guide. Vapors drift over stern at a basin near a pond in Hebra. At the source of the steam lies a bright mushroom haven. Using this clue, they are searching for Hebra, you, for the, or searching Hebra for the mushroom haven, but where could it be? I'm not quite sure, we'll figure it out. But in a moment, because I do also want to read right here, the captured tent. As thanks for defeating the monsters and getting their tent back, the sisters Nat and Megan told you about a clue that read, vapors drift over this. Okay, we just read that one. Uh, they've set out to find this mushroom haven in Hebra. So we'll follow after them and try to figure out where it could be. So this whole general area is Hebra. And if we look a little bit deeper in, I don't know exactly where Sternida is. Okay, Sternida Basin. There is a lake and it has the Sternida Secret Hot Springs. And in there is Sternida Springs Cave, a place we've already explored. Have we found this hidden mushroom world? <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but I guess I'll have to head over there and find out. So I'll go to the Rospero Pass Skyview Tower and we'll see what else we can discover. So I just wanna float straight back over to this spring and the cave associated with it. We've obviously been here before. We've gone into this cave and explored it thoroughly, so maybe we can just find those two already here. Because here's the, the, the spring. And with it, oh wait, yeah, we've already been done this sign. We have thoroughly been here. So if we look at the source of the steam, it would just be over here. So I guess we just hop back in and see if we can't find Megan and the other one. Uh, I don't see them right now. But I will go into the cave, just as we've done before. Oh, okay, I got a nice amount of healing from that. And it just comes in from this way. Yeah, here they are. Hey guys, could it be? Could it really be here? <gasps> hey Megan, I know we're in the right place. No doubt about it. Uh... No doubt, Nat. It's gotta be here. Drifting steam, a secret hot spring? Yeah. This is the place! Except, not super bright, is it? Uh. Nope, good point. Okay, so maybe it's not here, here. But that doesn't mean it's not close. Somewhere down here must be our shining mushroom haven. All we have to do now is find it. Let's go, Megan. All right, well, wait for me. Oh, and they're gone. All right, so I'll chase after them, I guess. If I can find them. I guess we'll go over, oh, does it really exist? <laughs> Classic nap, charging ahead while I take it slow, collecting mushrooms as I go. Whoa, you? Are you searching for the mushroom haven too? You're in the right place, or near it. It should be down here somewhere. Nat, well, not one ahead to find it without me. Huh, 
Well, we'll try to follow after and see if we can't find out then. Uh, we'll break that open, get some extra amber. That's always good. I don't see not just yet. Oh, there she is. We've been down that way. Rock, rock, and more rock. Hmm, this cave looks decidedly normal and dark. I'm not seeing the bright place we're looking for. Whoa, it's you? So you're searching for the Mushroom Haven too? Well then, I guess it's a competition, a race to find the Mushroom Haven. <laughs> Unluckily for you, Megan and I hunt mushrooms for a living. There's no way you'll beat us. Well, that's why we should work together. Now, I'm assuming that if we go down this way, one thing that's a big circle, and then this way will at least get me some extra rocks and stuff to break, but yeah, ultimately won't be where we're headed. It'll be that other spot that we've already previously broken open over here. With it, a ton more bright blooms. And a couple of rocky areas we've exploded through. So I went through this way, and it just leads to this side? That doesn't quite seem right. There's gotta be more, right? Oh wait, is just this just it? No. <laughs> it definitely isn't it anymore. Uh, oh yeah, I remember this, under here. This is neat, you just gotta climb under here a little bit, and maybe we'll find it. It's all stuff we've explored before, but here it is, I remember this, this is so gorgeous. Ah! So they were right behind me. This is it, the bright mushroom haven from the field guide. How totally, completely amazing. The temperature and humidity are perfect for them to grow, and there are so many different types flourishing here. <laughs> this truly is a haven of for mushrooms, a haven, and here we are, standing right in the middle of it. The mushroom haven actually exists. That message in the field guide was right, and it's as wonderful as we thought, definitely worth all the effort. Mm. It's just a shame we couldn't be the first to discover this place. I hate to say it, but as the person who found it, you earn the mushrooms here fair and square. <laughs> That's okay. It's amazing enough just seeing it with our own eyes. As mushroom hunters, what more could we really ask for? What? Megan, come on. Don't just stand around and gawk and wonder. Let's go. <laughs> huh? Go where, Nat? Oh. Can't you hear them? Mushrooms all over the world calling to us. Now that we've found the Mushroom Haven, I feel recharged and ready for another adventure. No time to waste, the world's filled with mushrooms and we've gotta see them all. <laughs> Take care now, okay? And if you run into us again, you better say hi. Aww. Honestly, Nat, no need to scare the guy. <laughs> Thanks for everything, and like she said, take care. All right, so that was awesome. It's somewhere we've technically been before, but who finds the haven complete? After searching the deepest reach of Sternida Springs Cave, you found the mushroom haven that Nat and Megan were looking for. The pair are happy with themselves for finding the place, but a bit vexed you found it first. Having achieved their goal, they've set off to search for more mushrooms. So the question is now, maybe after we grab a couple of mushrooms, is what should we get to next? because there's still a lot more side quests and I still have a little bit more time. So maybe we could work on some other stuff. Whirly Swirly Things, one of Kula's friends said they saw a big swirly circle in the water. Kula can't go looking for himself but said that he would like to see the swirly thing. Uh, Maybe, this one's in Korok Forest. I wouldn't mind revisiting Korok Forest, it sounds like fun. I'll go ahead and just grab a quick pass through of as many mushrooms as I can get. More than anything though, are these truffles. The big hearty truffle. That is well worth the effort. And then there's another normal truffle right there. So that's really good. I don't see too much more. Maybe a couple of those lizards, but I don't feel like climbing all the way up. Let's go ahead and figure out this uh, Korok Forest quest then. And also while we're doing that, let me go ahead and switch to the armor that I unlocked that I've barely played with. The Radiant Mask. I don't know if it'll glow in here. Oh, it does. So cool, awesome. So while that's glowing, we'll head over here to Korok Forest and we'll try to figure this one out. All right, so we need to talk to one of these Koroks. I think it was you, yeah? Uh, a big circle that spins in the water. If it's really real, I wanna see it, even as a picture. So where is it, though? One of the coolest friends said they saw a big swirly circle in the water. What water? There's a lot of water around here, friend. I was hoping you'd maybe give me a little bit more context, but 
that's where we can take a look at the map and you can see there's there's water around, but I'm guessing Lake Saria is probably what we're after. Either that or you know, Swamp, so maybe I could poke around here a little bit. Let's try to make a marker there. And it is the Lost Woods. I have a feeling I can't just charge off in any given direction and actually find what I'm after. But you know what, I'm willing to give it a try. <laughs> Let's head in this direction as much as possible. Oh wait, hey, there's more quests over here. I'll see how it's doing. It's been a while, so maybe I should go see how it's going over there. Over there? Up ahead, there's a special place just for Maka. In the forest, there's a wide open space, and right in the middle, there's a green swirl. And you can see an island floating in the sky from there. Maka loves that place. Oh, but since it's covered in lost fog, only Koroks can go there, so you can't come with me. But I'll tell you, tell you where to find it. Could you show me your map? Sure, here you go. It's here. You can see an island floating in the sky from there. I wonder if you could see it into the see into the forest from that sky island too. Maka's special place. Maka told you about his special place, but it's shrouded in the lost fog, and it seems that only Koroks can walk there. There's some sort of green swirl there, and you can see a floating island in the sky from there as well. Maka wonders whether the inside of the forest could also be seen from the sky. Okay, interesting. And that's its own shrine quest too, so maybe something worth messing with soon. But I figure we'll just go into the Lost Woods and see if I can't make my way at least towards, yeah, let's see where this brings me. We'll just spit me back out where I was. I don't know. Takes a moment. Uh. Yeah, we just end up right back here. So I don't know if it would be easier to go in through this way and try to find our way through. There, there's gotta be some way to do that, right? Because obviously we've been around a little bit, mostly in the in the sky though. Uh, or I guess mostly below. Huh, is that our answer here? Maybe. This one might be actually worth it to save for some other time then. Exploring the Lost Ones might take me more time than I thought. Um. So you know what, we'll do Elden's Colossal Fossil as our last one. You met Loon near East Akala Stable, a lover of all things ancient and their inherent adventurous qualities. She's on her way to see the, the fossil of an extinct Leviathan Elden. That seems a little bit more direct and that's all I'm looking for. Is this maybe one last little direct quest to do? I don't have too much when it comes to shrines over there. So maybe I'll just go to the Sibajitak shrine and try to get over from there. Okay, so I'm heading over and I also see down that way, um, another shrine, so I should probably at least delete that pin and try to mark that one. Awesome, so that I know it's there. I definitely need to spend some time filling out different shrines soon enough across Hyrule, but for right now, I do see what looks like the giant fossil. <laughs> what we have to do with this thing, I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we get closer over to there. I wonder if there's any caves or anything. Hard to see during this time of night. There are caves I have yet to enter, but from my quick glance of it, I'm not seeing any entrances. Oh, I do see a tent down this way. Okay, so I'm guessing that's where our friend is, right? Just hoping. This is certainly a huge fossil though. Elden Great Skeleton. Are you in here? You're not. So where could you be? Oh, you're right over here. Hi there. You found it, didn't you? His eyes. Oh. I had a feeling you'd turn up. Take a look. Ah. It's pretty impressive that the Leviathan's eyes were fossilized too, right? Wrong. Because look again, the left eyeball is missing. Huh. Uh. Uh, and after I came all this way, I wish I could have seen him with both of his cute little eyes still in his head. The, the, uh, that other eyeball has to be around here somewhere, right? Why, I'd pay a small fortune for a chance like that. Elden's Colossal Fossil. You went to the Elden Great Skeleton only to discover that one of the Leviathan's eyeballs was missing. Loon is forlorn, wishing she could see the Leviathan with both eyes intact. I wonder where it could have rolled off to then. And I'd imagine in the direction of like where the eye is. So somewhere over here maybe. 
Or maybe it's under. Whoa, okay, I found it. So, you know, Bo, you wanna help out with this one. Be a big difference maker, there we go. That basically gets the job done. I will just try to squeeze that through and into here. And there it goes. Was that all I needed to do? Fix up your fossil. Where, where'd you go? Hey, don't run off now. Whoa, the sunrise from here? Crazy. Wish I could see both. Ah, uh, it took so long to walk all the way out here. I wish I could have seen them him with both of his eyes in his head. I'll take another look. See for yourself. Wait, huh? Ma! Eee, I can see both of his little eyes. Oh, just look at him. That big ferocious face, those cute round eyes. I'm not sure whether to cower in fear or pat him on his adorable baby head. He's not just complete, he's perfect. <laughs> so, you found his eye and put him back together again? Thank you. Here, take this. It's the least I can do after you made my historical dreams come true. Purple rupee. Awesome, so we're over a thousand. Oh, I could stay here staring all day, but there's still more two more leviathans to meet. I can hardly wait to see the next one, but how to choose? Hmm, maybe the wee leviathan in Hebra is feeling lonely. Let me see your map. I'll show you where to find him. I don't know, so maybe this quest isn't quite done. Or maybe it'll start a whole new quest. Here is this, uh, here, he's supposed to be around here somewhere. Oh, I just can't wait to see how cute the little guy is. In fact, what am I waiting for? I'm off to see him now, so long. So will that be a quest done or just a quest continued? We're about to find out. Eldin's Colossal Fossil complete. Awesome. With it, Hebra's Colossal Fossil is started. Uranin the Loon, the ancient artifact enthusiast near the Elden Great Skeleton. She says she's heading out to see the fossil of a second extinct Leviathan in Hebra. So we'll definitely wanna track that one. But for right now, I wanna go ahead and read the remaining thing for this Colossal Fossil, wherever it could be. Uh, it's around here somewhere. But after we do that, here it is. You restored the Elden, or Elden Great Skeleton's missing eyeball, and Loon couldn't have been happier. After gazing at your handiwork for a while, Loon told you that our next stop is the Leviathan Fossil in Habra. So we'll definitely wanna go catch up with Loon and plenty of other quests and shrines and many, many other things. But for right now, I think we made some good progress. So that'll wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.